great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Richmond Spiders and the Florida Gators. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, when you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Gators should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Next, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Thirdly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Looking for a good shot. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were, dancer. <laughs> Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The defense senses a five-second call. Here, a five-second call forced by that determined defense. Ball's coming from the sideline. The small forward handles the pass. Intercepted. No foul on that interception. No foul is right, Brad. That's Mr. Clean. spacing looking for contact he puts it in with contact and all gave it up on the inside he ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket Lund handles the feed. Way off target. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a high screen. Clifton receives the ball. He takes the shot off the baseline. Sinks the shot. They work the perimeter. May receives the pass. Welch fakes the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And he scores despite the hack. like to get it inside to the low block and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Trying to feed inside. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Here's another look at the play. Got to take some pride on his defensive end. 
buried it. Picked off. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. They look to get it to the inside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. And he lures the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. the perimeter defender knocked the ball loose but the offense got it back awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J Florida a nice little run at the moment partner they have to remember solid defense leads to good offense which is what we're seeing right now the skip pass is picked off Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Looking for a good shot. Shot. Wants it. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Up fake. He strips him clean. Number 34, while applying pressure, goes for the aggressive steal. Not only is he applying ball pressure, but looking for the aggressive steal as well. Looking to move it around the perimeter. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help to the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. Did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the perimeter. Stop and pop. Goes. Encouraging the fans to keep cheering. Hey, Brad, he's looking for encouragement for this offensive possession. Gave it up in the paint. Looking for the foul. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help side. Trying to go inside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Dumps it in. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Up and inside. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Long distance. You betcha. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. Dick 
basket. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Leans in. He drains the bucket. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Florida are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Let's it fly. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. It's electrifying in here. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Gave it up. Tries for two. Up and in. They work the perimeter. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. For two. Perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. And he scores it off the glass. With a bucket, perfectly executed. When you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. This whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so's the defense, and they do a nice job. On the dribble, gives it up, takes the pass in the paint, tries for two. Trying to draw some contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. On the outside. He takes the shot from the baseline. The Gators have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Boy, terrible execution on offense. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. The crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? Thanks, Eric. The Gators are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He buries it. Second one, good. Makes 
the third shot. Big time screen set on the defender that time. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Man, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Gave it up. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. With a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. There's a double team waiting there. He attempts the trifecta. He hits the shot. Looking for a good shot. The shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Picks off the pass. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. He gets the shot to fall. He draws a foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. From left of the circle. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. Working it around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. From the top of the key. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Florida is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. They work the perimeter. From left of the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dump it inside. Step out on that screener. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. And the fans are going wild. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. They work it around the perimeter. 
Tries for two. He used the screen perfectly to put in the inside hoop. He's got some room. On the dribble, gives it up. Locks it. The ball goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. For two, perfectly executed. Controlling the ball. Goes up for two. And in and out. With a bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Double team now, bad angle. From the top of the circle. Sinks it. Outside. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. From downtown. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. The man is off the charts, Brad. Perfectly executed. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Gave it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries to get the D to bite. Tries for two. They still don't score. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. it off him. Shot clock is dead. Jumps into the defender. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. They're working around the arc. Puts up the shot. The Gators have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. At the half, the Spiders are down by four. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. We always love it when underdogs play well. They didn't in the first half, Dick, and they're going to have to pull out a miracle here in the second half. They're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential that they go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything, baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. 
for two. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? On the dribble, gives it up. High post screen, going to use it. The Spiders are trailing by six. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Stolen away. The ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Hold on, let's see that again. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Oh, yes. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. He shows the sweet touch. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Thinks about the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Up and inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There's the trap. High post screen. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribble attack here and turns it over. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They work the perimeter. On the outside. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Number 33 goes for the aggressive steal from the tightly guarded position. You gotta be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brad. If you miss, you could be in trouble. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Picked out of the air. Puts it up, looking for contact. Richmond have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Look at that spacing. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Now the turnaround jumper. And in and out. From beyond the arc. They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nails the long-range bomb. That's an 11-zip run.
get ready to resume the action. They'll work it around the arc. He goes for three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job running him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Looking for a good shot. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. To go. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. The center has gone wild. Well, the Rowdy Reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. Hamilton is fired up and ready to go. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Gators have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. That one to fall. They work the perimeter. Top of the circle. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Look at that spacing. He launches a three. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Hey, a few more of those. He may wind up on a bench. Stolen ball. Here they come now on a turnover. Looking for contact. But inside. Great defense. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> For two, perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Picks off the lazy pass. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. Kicks it out. Too physical. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The 
Well, he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Count it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Well, the Rowdy Reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. He puts up the tray. That was nice. From three-point range, he nails the bucket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. The Gators have a tendency to recruit some athletically gifted players. They like guys who can really get up and down the court. Their basketball philosophies require great athletes. Pump fakes. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. It's the first. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Steals a pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. come up with a steal and they do Richmond are on a bit of a run let's see how long they can keep it on Brad let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews Aaron Dick and Brad the underdogs are playing with a nothing to lose mentality I'm right by their bench right now and they're screaming let's leave it all out on the floor guys we could have an upset right now in the making Goes up for two. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Jumped in front to take it away. 
He goes up with a jumper. Nope. Almost lost a basketball. A high screen. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. That's been moved, not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? I think right now, I've got to focus defensively. Fast break possibility coming. Goes up for two. <laughs> May in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. He nails the shot. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. Gets the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. He shoots from long range. You bet. It's stolen. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them. The land. Picked off. Got a wide open look. Nice high post screen. Rims out. Gave it up. For the bucket. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. He uses the shot fake and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Takes it off him. Transition opportunity coming up. Tries for two. Easy one. off the lazy pass looking for a good shot here's a double team steal here we go on the break the shooting guard takes the pass in the paint well there's the turnover situation I guess most notable the number of points off turnover well Mr. Nestler that's why you want to take care of the basketball you want to protect it Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Second one, good. They are nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. We're working around the perimeter. Stolen. 
Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Adam momentary look from three-point land they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass they go inside and now back outside i tell you inside outside action always works He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. For two, finger roll. Let's take a second look. The center is going crazy. Well, the Rowdy Reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. Launches the bomb. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that jig. The lead is now seven points. This game is still up for grabs, Brad. The player's got a much needed breather with that timeout. Looking for a good shot. Shoots. He makes the shot. the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. There's a double team waiting there. Rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Sets the screen for his teammate. Off the rim and no good. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Let's get back out on the floor. That makes it a two-point game, Dick. And the Palms are starting to sweat, believe me. Picked out of the air. The point guard takes the pass. Gave it up. He unloads a three. It's good. From a different area, code. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. Pushes it up. No foul was called on the play, and that is really important right now, Dick. Absolutely. At this point in the game, when you still have a chance to win, you got to make sure when you gamble it pays off. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. The shooting guard takes the feed for the bucket. Got it.
Let's go back out onto the floor. The lead is down to a bucket. Hey, this place is about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. He throws up the shot. He buries the shot. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Launches a prayer, and he can't hit the shot. The ball game is going to overtime. This is what these fans want to see. Knock down, drag them out basketball, baby. With such a well-played game, it's only fitting the score is all not enough and that these teams are going into overtime. Dick, this is why paper and basketball are two different games. On paper, this one shouldn't even have been close in regulation. And we're going overtime. I tell you what, it's been so exciting. I hope it never ends. I hope we have double, triple overtime. I tell you, these kids have played with such fire. Just goes to show you, press clippings can only take you so far. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important they'll have talent. Makes an outstanding block. Makes it. The Gators will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure into basketball. Looks for a three-pointer. Buried it. They'll work it around the arc. From top of the circle. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets the bucket to fall. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now, my goodness. For the deuce. Hey, Brad, it's embarrassing to get scored on like that. On the dribble, gives it up. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dumping inside. The ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. Collects the rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Look at that spacing. He looks for three. No good. Gave it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Kicks it out. The shooting guard receives the ball. He buries it. He comes away with it. Here they go into transition. For two. Up. Easy one. 
That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, thanks, Aaron. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. He shoots from the top of the key. The shot won't fall. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Let's see the replay on that one. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Step out on that screener. Rims out. He hit the deuce and the foul is called. Nice job of absorbing the foul and keeping his focus. the free throw line. Buries it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. You think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. The point guard with the ball. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Gave it up. And a momentary look from three-point land. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Now they work it around the perimeter. The shooting guard handles the pass. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this shows it at the start, Brad. Court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. They cut the lead to two. Hold on to your seat, Mr. Nestler. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper, looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Time out, Dick. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. He tries to beat the clock. Misses the three. And we're going to overtime. Neither team is given an inch as they enter the second overtime in a dead heat. I can't imagine. 
imagine what the emotions of both these teams must be like. We're in another overtime in a game that wasn't supposed to be close in regulation. I tell you, isn't it great? Second overtime. But if you're an underdog coach, you're a nervous wreck because you don't want to be, hey, it could have been, should have been, or would have been. You want the W now. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He takes the shot off the baseline. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Off the rim and no good. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the dribble, gives it up. Got an open look if he wants it. He launches the bomb. He gets the shot to fall. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He tries the three ball. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Rims out. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul, Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. the ball for the deuce Florida are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together hey, they're really starting to click on offense goes up for two off the rim and no good Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Set that screen away. Fakes the jumper. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. A lot of pressure on a basketball. Play to play the ball. Tough. Drive him, beat him, turn him, beat him to his spot. From the top of the key, rims out. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. The point guard gets the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. With the shot. Buries it. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. We're about ready to start things up again. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Pressure in the basketball. 
He goes for the trifecta. He can't get the hoop to fall. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They got a foul quickly here. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. They really need a score here to turn this into a one possession game. They have to foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick. Isn't it a clock management here? I tell you, it's time to start fouling in order to stop the clock. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, man, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. At the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. No doubt. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. about ready for play to resume. The kick out. Kymak wants the fans to keep cheering. You know, Brad, he wants the fans back to for this defensive possession. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Pushes it. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. To the line. Misses the front end of the one and one. Dick, it seems like they really don't care what the final score is. They just want to put up that W. That's all that matters. I'll tell you one thing. It's all about winning. It's all about executing and getting to the locker room with the W, and that's what they were able to do. Survive and win. Florida narrowly escapes with a win as they take it in overtime. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.